What is Add on Premium in Car Insurance? A comprehensive car insurance policy offers this feature known as Add on Covers. These Add on Covers help increase protection for your four wheeler. But you need to know that, the more are the number of add ons on your car insurance policy, more is the premium amount you are expected to pay. The different types of add on covers are Accessories cover helps protect your vehicle from loss of accessories by theft. NCB protection cover helps you to retain the no claim bonus and receive a discount as per the schedule even if you lodge a claim during a policy period. Consumables cover is an add-on cover that pays for the cost of consumables required to be replaced or refilled in the event of an accident of your car. Invoice protection cover, also known as a return to invoice value cover, is an add-on that provides complete financial security to your car. Car engine protection cover is meant to cover any damages to the engine. Zero depreciation cover, also known as nil depreciation or a bumper-to-bumper -bumper cover, pays the whole cost of external care body repairs or replacement without taking into consideration any depreciation in the value of the car parts. Until a few years ago, general insurers offered only standard motor insurance plans. Today, you have a lot of options called add-ons, when you avail motor insurance. You will of course have to pay a higher premium for the add-on benefit. Add-ons offer additional protection in addition to own damage and third-party liability. Zero depreciation add-on, you are recompensed the full cost of replacing car parts, damaged in an accident. You get this benefit if you pay an add-on premium. Engine protect, your car engine gets damaged if you start the engine in waterlogged conditions. Engine protect compensates you for engine damage if your engine is damaged while starting in waterlogged conditions. Avail this add-on if you reside near waterlogged areas. You will have to pay an additional premium if you take this add-on. What you need depends on your personal situation and the state in which you live. States regulate insurance and what coverage is required varies by state. Your best course of action is to work with a licensed insurance agent or broker. Some of the things you may need are 1. Uninsured motorist coverage that supplies coverage if you are hit by an uninsured motorist. Your own policy will kick in rather than having to sue the other driver and spend copious amounts of time in court. Most standard policies in other than no-fault states add this coverage in but many discount insurance policies do not. 2. Underinsured motorist coverage is protection related to injuries received from an accident where the other driver is at fault has coverage limits too low to cover your expenses. Underinsured drivers purchase only the minimum coverage required by law, which in some states isn't much. Should you be involved in an accident where the, at fault, driver lacks adequate liability insurance, your own underinsured motorist coverage covers you. 3. Personal Injury Protection PIP covers a variety of expenses in the event of an accident, depending on the policy. The main costs it covers are medical expenses for the insured driver, his or her family and other passengers up to a certain dollar amount. In no-fault insurance states, PIP is required because there is no recovery of medical expenses from the other driver. PIP may also cover funeral or loss of income expenses. 4. Roadside assistance consists of mobile repair and towing services if your car breaks down on the road. Mechanics are equipped to change tires fill up an empty tank, and assess mechanical problems. If they are unable to fix the problem on the side of the road, they will tow the vehicle to the nearest repair facility. 5. Gap insurance protects you in the event that you owe more money on the vehicle than the insurance company will pay you. Insurance companies use standard valuation measures to determine what your car was worth at the time of the accident, that's the amount they will pay to you. However, if you financed or leased your car, you may owe more on the loan or lease than what the insurance company gives you. This is the gap and, if it is not insured, it can cost you money out of pocket if you get into an accident. There are other coverages to consider, but you should weigh the costs against the potential benefits. You love your car and want to make it secure. Keeping its security in mind you have opted for comprehensive insurance coverage which offers both third-party benefit and also own damage cover. You can further strengthen its security cover by getting add-on cover for your car. Let's discuss few of them and how they help zero depreciation cover. When you file for claim, the insurer would settle down the claim after deducting the depreciation. 
But after taking this add-on cover you would be able to get the full value of car engine protect cover, it covers for the damage to the engine and pays for replacement or repair of all the child parts or the internal parts. Cost of consumables, coverage is provided for consumables used in your car during the repair. Emergency assistance cover, assistance is provided for technical or mechanical breakdown issues. These add-on can help you with ensuring further coverage for your car.